But in terms of the timing of this white paper, I mean, levelling up was one of our core policies uh, in 2019 that, that won us the election. Our constituents have been waiting two years for this, uh, and here it is in all its detail. I've not read all 297 pages yet, but there's some fantastic announcements in there, uh, and I think this is what we should be focusing on right now. Mm. And for your own constituency, how far is it going to, is it going to benefit your own area? Um, well, really significantly. I mean, you know, we are one of the most uh, regional inequality in terms of countries in, in the developed world. We have one of the worst problems with regional inequality. You know, London and the South East incredibly productive, incredibly uh, competitive on the world stage, and that just isn't the case uh, in the rest of the country. And as I said, you know, I've lived through that. I see that every week. So to have a strategy with how we're going to overcome that, it's not going to be overnight. But some core policies like improving public transport so that it is as good as London, improving connectivity, investing in productivity of jobs and improving education, improving how the pride that people feel uh, in, their, in their place. And we've had some great announcements for Sheffield City Centre. You know, I'm a Sheffield MP. Uh, we're one of the two towns and cities that have been named as part of this flagship regeneration project for 20 towns. Um, so really, really exciting news for my constituents. And do you worry at all that given that there is no new money for this, that inevitably some areas are going to experience less investment in order for areas like yours to get more? Uh, well, I think it's, it's important to be clear, this isn't a budget, it's not a spending review. We've had the spending review. Uh, the money for the levelling up has been allocated. You know, this is an eight-year plan. There are going to be more budgets and more spending reviews uh, and more investments. So it is more about a system so change in the money. way that government spends its money. So a good example of that at the moment, 80% of the public investment in housing goes in London and the South East just because of the way that the Treasury formulae have worked over the years. Now, clearly that's wrong. That's not going to help us to level up. And so those are the kind of things uh, that are going to be changed. So this is a strategy. This is about how we're going to deliver the levelling up, how we're going to measure the improvements in people's lives. But does that mean that there might be more money in subsequent, in, in subsequent budgets? Well, this is an eight-year plan and it sets out not just how we're going to spend public money, but how we're going to attract private money. And again, that's one of the key problems that we have in this country. London and the South East attract an enormous amount of private and foreign investment. And I'm afraid places like Yorkshire just don't. So if we can change the conditions in places like Peniston and Stocksbridge, better infrastructure, better skills, we're going to attract private sector money and foreign money perhaps to, to areas like mine. So it's not just about how the taxpayers are spending money, it's about how we're going to create the conditions for growth that are, are going to generate investment from all, all quarters. Okay, thanks so much. That's Miriam Cates there, Conservative MP for Peniston and Stockbridge. Thanks for your time.